last but not least, we have Mr. Paul Moulton from Isle of Man Television. Good afternoon, Paul. Faster my. Good afternoon, the link is pretty bad today, so I hope you can hear me because we can't hear most of what you're saying. In, 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 you can hear me? It's, it's a terrible link. No, you're just on mute, I'm afraid. I'm talking. Uh, if you could say, I'm not. I'm not. You're not now. You're not we can now. I'm not. You, were on mute you, you, were, you were a second ago. Yeah. No, no, the technic this technical thing was saying I was unmuted, but I was trying to say the link has been so poor, it's hard to hear what you've been saying today. So can you hear me now? Yeah, can we can hear, hear you fully. Clear. Right. Just before um, we start, have you got any data really from Mr Ashford on these, how many people have come into the Isle of Man who have had both jabs and yet have gone on to prove test positive? Have you got that data? Uh, the, uh, my understanding, and certainly from anything I've seen, no one has. I've not seen anything that suggests anyone has. Right. can hardly hear you. but I've not seen anything that So it's a no, Paul. Right. Um, Yes, this is, we've really got to do these things back in person, please. If the, if the well, leaders of the world can meet in person, it'd be helpful. Okay, Paul. No, there's problems here. So, anyway, um, uh, ITV Channel has just um, flagged up that the whole of um, uh, UK and Scotland, I'm sorry, I say UK, England and Scotland have gone to red. This is for Jersey, by the way. Jersey have just changed the rules. They, they're going to have to have a one, five and a ten day test. This looks like they, they, they can see that this is not a, a good idea to open up. Your your thoughts? Well, we're all different and we, we look at risk differently. For for a long time now, Jersey have had us... Most of our northwest, for example, has been code red um, from, from their point of view. They went down a different route from us and were slightly more liberal in their approach on the free movement of everyone coming to, to Jersey. And But they came up with their various counties of the UK on, on how they would assess them and I think they were up at 56 the last time I looked I haven't areas of the United Kingdom that they had as a red area that would have to isolate I haven't got the latest details you know, if they've changed just recently Paul I don't know David if you've got any more details um, I believe all of England I've seen is to be added to the red list Paul but I haven't seen anything about them saying Scotland and all of Scotland and Wales as well um, I know a lot of Scotland was in their red area anyway, um, but certainly the headline I've got from ITV states um, all of England to be added to Jersey's travel red list, um, which was published uh, Scotland and Wales ago. were already in the red area, so they've, they've, they've added, added England and, uh, to that list, basically, yeah, just now. Yeah, I was going to say, so I knew most of happened. Scotland was in. I didn't think all of it was because of the way they split Scotland out into the different regions. The Isle of Man's still green, if that's good news. Um, we've got... 11 days to get this NHS app up and working. Um, these things normally take a little time. Can you give us any indication that you're going to hit that uh, target? Because obviously it can cause uh, issues if, we, if the UK people can come to the Isle of Man because they've got the app already. But Isle of Man people returning or whatever, people already over there coming in, if it's not working, we'll have to go through this other procedure. Are you confident in 11 days time the NHS England app, I believe it's England one, is going to be on our phones and ready to work? Yes, because NHS Digital is actually in the process of setting us to live. Um, they're doing some work for Wales at the moment, but as soon as that work's completed, they are switching over to working for it to set us to live. This isn't something that's just suddenly happened or suddenly occurred in the last couple of weeks. We've been having discussions with the UK for a long time about this now to get into this position because there's had to be all sorts of agreements uh, drawn up and signed because we are an independent country and an independent NHS. Um, but the work on this has been going on behind the scenes with officers in government and within my, uh, my area of DHSC for several months now actually to be perfectly honest um, because we've known that eventually we would need some kind of solution so this isn't something um, that has just suddenly happened it's something that's being worked on for some time and the reason that we've gone public with it now is because those agreements are falling into place and we're getting ready to set it alive it's worth pointing out that if we didn't, I see have, a lot a of if we didn't have a reciprocal health agreement, Paul, with the United Kingdom, we wouldn't be able to take part in, in this agreement and our colleagues in the Channel Islands are, un are unable to be part of this. Right. I see there's lots of cruise liners all due to come into Douglas over the summer. Those will have people who've started in all sorts of other countries. Now, they may or may not have had tests. It depends on which cruise company uh, you go by. How will you treat them when they, they want to get off the ship and uh, come onto land if they haven't got the UK uh, NHS app? 
Well, if they don't have well, the don't 2 have plus 2, two in, in an approved two, jurisdiction, they won't be allowed onto the island at this moment in time, Paul. I think if you look at an awful lot of cruise ships, they're saying unless you've had the, the vaccinations, you won't be allowed on them anyway. So that will be something that our, our public health will work with the cruise ships to ensure that only people who meet the criteria are allowed onto the island. If, if you haven't been double dosed, you won't be able to come get off the ship to come onto the island. I don't know, David, if you want to expand. Yeah, I believe conversations have already been had with the cruise industry and cruise companies, and they are fully aware of the rules. Um, people have to abide by the rules when they come into the island. If you remember, Paul, we had this um, debate last year about EasyJet when EasyJet announced a timetable and was this, you know, was this going to mean that people with the rules were going to change and everything else? The answer is no. The rules are the same across the board, and it will be the same for cruise ships as it is for all other types of entry to the island. Okay, thank you. And, and please, let's do these in person. I mean, some of the streams haven't been working for some of the output today. Constant issues since we ever started this. Please, let's do it in person if people want to. Surely now we can do this. We do not have to be left hanging around on a Zoom call. I'll, I'll take on board your comments, Paul.